This has been happening since the last five six years. We were the first ones under Bangalore University to bring this in, saying that nobody understood, right? People in the university level like, why are you doing this? Why are you build, building a new program that says MBA in Business Analytics? And the half, hmm. and if you see the learning cycles, hmm. there's something called half life, right? Okay. So for a management degree, the half life is anywhere between five to ten years. Hmm. So what you learn may have that relevancy in that much time hmm. period. But if you look at what's happening with AI and data science, particularly, the half life was one to two years. Hmm. So it all comes down to: Are you a technical guy or are you a non-technical guy? To just make things a lot easier. Then yeah. from there, it becomes you progressive. You use the already existing um, Chat GPT of the world, or you build one. All right, hi everyone, welcome on board. What's the logo guy question? Are I that AI is going to stay? AI is already here. Are we going to have job losses in the country or across the world as well? AI is going to change the world. We think. It is already changing the world. We think today uh, we have uh, Ajitesh sir. Hi Ajitesh, welcome on board. Thank you so much. He man. is pursuing his PhD right now as we talk in AI, and he's also done a course from I am Koi Kaur. When was it, sir? This was last year. Whole was last year. This was last year. Great. And you're doing your uh, PhD or DBA uh, from which school? This is from Ren School of Business in France. That's lovely. That's lovely. Please tell us and jagrut kariye hamay thoda sa. How this AI <coughs> in the world of Chat GPT of the world? Germany of the world, think they're going to change. First thing first, ये पूछते रहते हैं, job loss होने वाला है कि mass exodus happening. What do you think? Absolutely, there are a lot of job losses, but at the same time, there are a lot of requirements coming in. So you are essentially looking at people doing different jobs, and the entire mid-level software engineers, managers, all that guy will get wiped out with what's happening. Are you serious? Yeah, everything is going and. the your skill sets everyone has to relook at what they are actually good at and not just go behind the herd of what everyone is doing no oh. and how is it you also run a business school right now uh, how is it changing for the business school students is ai deeply coupled or integrated with the syllabus what we have uh, in the classroom so this has been happening since the last 5 6 years we were the first ones under bangalore university to bring this in saying that nobody understood right people in the university level like why are you doing this why are you build, building a new program that says mba in business analytics and then nobody understood and said no this is where it's all heading mba is not looked at the way it was 20 years ago today there's a lot of change what it is being delivered what we deliver is completely different from what was done even 3 years ago yeah so the unique thing that i would say is the core is the same fundamentally management so i'll tell you right there's something called life cycle in the half hmm. and if you see the learning cycles hmm. there's something called half life right okay so for a management degree the half life is anywhere between 5 to 10 years hmm. so what you learn may have that relevancy in that much time period hmm. but if you look at what's happening with AI and data science particularly the half life was 1 to 2 years mm. so the rapid change in technology yeah is kind of offsetting whatever you learn even if it is 2 years ago it may not be there today True. so it's very very important for a student irrespective of the degree that they're doing to constantly keep updating yeah. constantly keep learning of course you have multiple tools true but well, then where do you start True. It all comes down to: Are you a technical guy or are you a non-technical guy? To just make things a lot easier, then yeah. from there, it becomes progress. You want to use the already existing um, Chat GPT of the world, or you know, build one. Uh, building is like a lot more expensive now. Absolutely. Now, in fact, all the people in the world are also saying that we have democratized our GPTs, and people can build over that as well, rather than doing the basic level of code, right? Yeah. And uh, of course, there are. Wars going on, Deep Seek versus uh, Chat GPT, okay. GPT four, etc., and Gemini per se. Only they had Bard, which they had to kill, and now they are rebranded to Gemini. Yeah. But uh, where do you think um, people want to just use AI, the generative AI? Is it like prompt engineering they should learn? Is it like the basics to start with? As an MBA student, what kind of skills they should learn? So, this is one of the most common questions people have. What do I need to learn? Because what most people do is they end up trying to learn everything which is not required 
in the sense it's good to have a understanding of programming languages at a very very rudimental like fundamental yeah. level but if you are an mba your job is to analyze data mm. your job is to give the right decisions for a company so that requires you to probably master a few data visualization tools to help make better decisions mm. so let's assume you have a non technical background starting with an sql no sql structured data unstructured data that makes a lot more sense but once you start getting into it a little deeper then you realize that data is not as structured as you would like it to be right that's when you start implementing different tools mm. in fact some of the best data scientists that i know of they aren't coders yeah i've met brilliant guys they're not coders they take one particular tool they specialize in it mm. it helps having statistics it helps having math as a background but the beauty of this is irrespective of what you have studied you can always pick it up understood understood i say this to everyone so fundamentals before you start thinking about machine learning algorithm r python excel seekh lo yaar pehle 100% tumhe excel is such a underrated tool that half of our lives are depend on excel in fact we we used to joke when we were, when we were mba like we paid money to spj and bombay to learn um, excel and ppt yeah we were doing it every day and now when you look back that's a bloody skill yeah yeah and um, in education or in person in other sectors also it's very difficult to find people who know pivot tables 100% and those who don't don't know pivot tables i, I should not be saying it what i want to say but come on how are you going to analyze data yeah yeah and people are aiming for bigger job mai ko manager banna hai are jab tum manager banoge you start reporting out to people so yeah. power point is important of course you prevent people yeah and you become manager will be managing 20 people yeah how you going to manage 20 people ka data who's coming on time leaves etc yeah. you need excel sheet for sure like the basic level of this is that oh, and then you go to absolutely yeah. in fact that's the first thing that we teach a student who comes into the program yeah um because the assumption is he already knows but then most people don't they think they know and if you master just excel yeah. at the core everything else becomes a lot easier yeah whatever macros were doing it now you know yeah. it, it was a i would not say chat gpt is not putting ai into that yeah. it's getting your answers done faster and yeah. quicker yeah you know some people actually say that excel i mean this whole ai thing is just glorified excel if you yeah. can figure out excel yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of functions that can be done without the intervention of two more complex I, i used to say that like data science is the glorified excel yeah. there's nothing but what of course it's jisko wo nahi aata for of course power bi you make it look more look more beautiful you know yeah. so that's great so uh, let's talk about jobs so by 2030 they say a um, lot of jobs are going to be replaced by new kind of jobs for sure yeah. these new kind of job what kind of visualization you have what kind of job will come in when it comes to ai apart from the code coding jobs as well so at the grander scheme of things we are seeing 75% of companies across adopting ai mainstream and making sure that ai is part of their entire dna when you look at jobs per se we are looking at at least um 20 to 35% of increased in revenue of these companies adopting these mm -hmm. so they are obviously adopting ai tools but then they are also hiring people who come with this background when i say coming with this background essentially data analysts mm. data scientists all of this and data science if you have that there's a 100% job increase mm. in the sense the requirement is so high today that your likelihood of getting notice is very very high True. compared to let's say a mechanical engineer or just an mba True. per se True. 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 so that keeping that in mind right it's very important for students to understand the change that's coming forward and uh, that change will not just offset what they have already learned um, it's important that the curriculum also is changing mm -hmm. the changing times understood great so so a is going to stay here yeah? 100% what next after you doing phd in this what's your subject like first of all and what next is ke baad to soch ke kaam ho raha hoga kya type bhi nahi karna padega absolutely i think i think right now we are in that generative ai space yeah. that period i see this for the next 2 3 years maybe and we don't know what's going to happen after that uh, most of what we are doing is a prediction 
it's a, it's not that we know for certain this is the future but we know the possible futures yeah and um, i particularly i'm doing it mainly because of my interest looking at student retention in higher education oh nice so is there a way to predict student retention apart from the obvious factors everyone knows the socio economic factors but then can we identify things beyond that and kind of intervene at a very early stage before student makes a decision to drop out or not continue studies okay yeah, retention in the business school or in the business kind of school okay. or at an undergraduate level also so the theme is how to use ai in basically uh, uh, predicting student dropouts oh lovely yeah. using ai using ai yeah using That's an cool. algorithm to help um, identify certain parameters that are beyond the obvious if he's not having breakfast in the morning for 7 days it may end up like this guy could be could this guy is not yeah. going to continue your course as cuz well. what people don't look at is the behavioral factors hmm. most of them look at things like oh financial stability or yeah paisa nahi hai fees nahi de pa rahe or attendance that, yeah. that's all very obvious things you don't need to do research for it there's a lot of research already but if we are able to look into the behavioral science of the whole thing and bring that into the picture i think it will help universities and institutions yeah make better choices so the kids who eat prantha in the morning every day are going to stay longer and going to finish the course we never know but yeah maybe <laughs> we never know data <laughs> always speaks data always speaks this is so amazing yaar any parting thoughts to all the young listeners yaar they want to be like you this guy is an opportunist ha huh? 2014 15 mein he went to do a course on sustainability now he's doing a phd on ai whatever is the buzzword he's trying to figure it out and playing things around he's thinking about student retention mein ai kaise lagayenge and any any parting thoughts they want to be like you man you're a role model no. and he works out 2 hours a day yeah no 100% um, don't go behind what everyone is telling you go against the tide usually that makes better sense to you in hindsight so do the thing that makes you happy but at the same time make sure that you are listening to what's happening around you so i wouldn't say focus only on ai don't do that do everything else also kya baat hai that's great and one question which i asked to everyone uh, during the end of the podcast one advice you would like to give to your younger self a 20 year old guy just finished his graduation oh, probably probably make more mistakes yeah yeah i think nothing nothing teaches like making more mistakes and failure i guess so yeah, take, take more take chances it. yeah take more chances why, why do you think you couldn't take chances no i think i could have done probably little more little more yeah taking those extra few steps in doing certain but why projects. you couldn't like line of sight nahi tha or ah uh, good question i or was it sometimes it's uh, like uh, for me is being lazy lazy as well mm-hmm. i'll be honest mm mm-hmm. i i think um, seeing a lot of failure around me kind of made me a little more conservative saying that i don't want to make the same mistakes but then looking back i'm like maybe it would have been worth it making the thing those oh. chances better stories also no so sorry you get better stories you get better stories well you know i was there and they who, failed and who yeah cares about out. the success part success yeah. is like boring that's a good one that's a good one and uh, normally steve jobs said like you never connect the dots forward looking forward you yeah. always connect it backward jab tum kar lete ho na fir tum story ban oh jab main ye tha to ye karta tha jab main ye tha to wahi karta so and uh, you will never know what kind of dots you are connecting to i'll tell you right i went to hyderabad once i took a flight just to meet this really big guy who is part of uh, the education sector very big chain of institutions I went I took a flight just to meet him the only advice I got you won't believe it I sat with him at a cafe at Starbucks he said just start he didn't tell me anything else just But he just said two words just start I was like I took a flight to meet this guy thinking I'll get some solid gyan solid gyan of- I'm like did I waste my time and then I realized a couple of years later that was all I needed he just said just start and that is very simple but if you don't start i mean nothing will nothing it will all be in your head aur nike ne to 50 saal pehle hi bol diya tha just do it 
you know dimag mat lagao yaar yeah. just do it just execute just forget and about humans um are taking decisions in a bad way or not taking decisions you know i think not taking decisions much more dangerous than a taking a wrong decision right 100% so, uh, the, the, the it's better do a bad decision than not taking any than decision than not taking any yeah. decision So the quote which says the biggest risk in life is not taking a risk. Yeah, that that's actually risky. Not taking yeah. a risk itself is risky. It's, and and you again you're going to connect it backward and you're going to be like 35, 40 or 50. And we're like, yeah, what did I do? Yeah. You know? I think especially in your 20s, take all the chances, all the opportunities that you have. Yeah. That's the best thing. I mean, there's you have nothing to lose, right? What do you have behind you? Nothing. But once you solidify things, maybe things may be a little more different. Hmm. But then in your twenties, it's a lot easier. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much. This show was lovely, lovely talking to you, man, and uh, so a great much. mini lesson for me as well on sustainability. I'm going to do my bit. I'm going to do less of YouTube, or maybe use one light rather than three lights in my coming future podcast. Thanks, man. Thank Humble you. to everybody. Thank you so much, boys and girls. Do it on the like button, or please comment. Tell me what you guys think. What do you think about sustainability? Is it a buzzword or not? Is it going to sustain? Do you think doing an MBA or an MS in sustainability, like how Ajitesh Shah did? it's going to be worth it all see you in the comment section take care bye bye video like pakka karke jayega thank you